I've got a very simple question for you today. Who governs Britain? Liz Truss? No. Is it His Majesty's government? No. Could it be our parliament? No. The plebs among us that vote in elections? <laughs> Certainly not. You see, I'm not convinced it's any of those things whatsoever. And before I continue, I want you to know that years ago, had I heard anybody making this argument, I might well have accepted that they were a conspiracy theorist or some kind of fringe nut, a swivel-eyed loon. But I'm afraid to say what we see in Britain today is anything but democratic and accountable to us as voters. We have financial markets that can dictate economic policy, so much so that they can now determine the exact tax rate that's preferable to them. Their preference is that we remain a high-tax, low-growth, EU-style economy, dirigiste to the extreme. We have a media that can oust Boris Johnson because they don't like what he did in securing and delivering Brexit. We have a political class that is utterly supine. They won't do anything to shine a light upon borderless Britain. But they'll oust Leeds last Liz if she dares threaten to reduce the tax burden to levels last seen under Labour's Tony Blair, hardly some tax-cutting Thatcherite. Time and again, we elect Prime Ministers on platforms that they're suddenly unable to deliver. It's either too difficult, too politically correct, not politically correct enough for them, or not supported by utterly supine, spineless backbenchers. That might as well, if you ask me, cross over to the other side of the House of Commons. But the priorities of the political and media class, the establishment in Britain, <laughs> don't you worry, mate, in Davos. Your priorities will be delivered. But if you dare deviate from that, you'll meet the full force of the globalist sucker punch. An ally of new Chancellor Jeremy Hunt, I think really, really exemplified this and said that the former health secretary will be a chief executive inside Liz Truss's ailing government. Why, well, as anyone knows, the chief executive is the one that calls the shots. They're the top dog. And I don't know about you, but this bloke that was a zero COVID fanatic who backed the Chinese pandemic response, a Ramona in the extreme who backed Sir Keir Starmer's calls for a second referendum, that bound Britain's hands to the EU sclerotic single market. That ain't my idea of the ideal chief exec for UK PLC. Ask yourselves this. What exactly has been delivered since we gave the Tories an 80-seat majority in 2019? Take Brexit. It's not complete. One constituent part of our country is basically in the EU. We have an open border immigration that goes on with absolutely no done about it. And we have a police force that feels more comfortable being the guardians of hurt feelings online rather than acting as our thin blue line. Liz Truss has decided that her chancellor and her corporation tax policy were worthy sacrificial lambs to our establishment masters. But she's wrong. U-turns are incredibly dangerous. They tell the public that you're a government ready for the U-bend. Everything you've sold yourself as, principled, pro-growth, pro-Britain, evidently a load of balderdash. And I say to Tory MPs unhappy with Liz, go on then, mate. You disliked Boris and now you dislike Liz. Bring about a general election and see just what we think about your contempt for us all. Our country needs adult action, not puerile posturing. If the actual Conservative Party hikes corporation tax amid an international economic chaos, then we might as well say to hell with it all and stop scrutinising economics at all. Why not just say we'll swallow the same lump of unedifying, you didn't vote for this but it's what you get in porridge, that we're offered? Different shades of the same electoral edifice. And as I say, I like Leeds last Liz, but you must know that you cannot justifiably sack a chancellor for putting in place your own policies that you campaigned on all summer and then act like it was absolutely now to do with you. And if he was such a great mate of yours, why have you just thrown Quasi under a bus to appease the media and political class? So literally everything 
that Liz Truss has been saying since the summer isn't worth a damn, I'm afraid to say. So why should the public trust or believe in this government's competence and trustworthiness? It's a U-turn worthy of whiplash compensation. I'll be doing an advert for it after this show. We stand to gain no ground on immigration, on the economy and on Brexit. They're all policies that we, the public, we as Britons, have advocated and backed for many years now. Policies that we back but never get. And I don't know about you, but it all seems to have become much clearer this week. We're not going to get what we want and what we will see that. And I think with crystal clarity, we can see that with 4K ultra high definition.